Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Glad to have you aboard as we get set up to discuss some more Edmonton Oilers. Obviously, a quiet weekend as we head in towards rookie camp starting next week. But for right now, right, there's a couple of things that I think we all have to get out of the way. And I think folks have been getting their hot takes out of the way on Twitter the past few weeks. And I have kind of taken my time because all of a sudden... I feel like there's a few things that have become hot takes that shouldn't be hot takes. But either way, we'll discuss that in a matter of moments, friends. And, uh, well, we'll get geared up to discuss a little bit more Edmonton Oilers throughout the weekend as well. So stay tuned. And with that said, I want you to hit that subscribe button. To be able to do that, that'll get you the access to the videos that much sooner. So if you're new, check it out. If not, hey, welcome back and let's get to it, shall we? Hot take number one, friends. This is what I'm talking about. It should not be a hot take at this point that Ryan Nugent Hopkins will score another 100 points this season. But for some reason, it has evolved into being just that. Bob Stauffer doubting that he'll hit 100 again. Multiple other people across insiders and across hockey reporters kind of sitting there on the fence if he could even do it again. Even get close is the question. And realistically, for me, I'm sitting here asking that question, how can you doubt it? He's on the league's number one power play, which is set to only improve with the shot that Evan Bouchard has and the distribution that he is also kind of gaining form with, as you saw in the playoffs. So I, I don't know how you can doubt that Ryan Nugent Hopkins couldn't. If he was a power play merchant last year, how this year he stands to get worse in the point production. But that's why I'm saying it's a hot take is... Everybody is against the whole idea of Nuge being at 100, and I think 100% he can get 100 points once again this season. So moving into hot take number two, friends. This one is going to alarm a lot of people that I have this much faith in the goaltending. The Oilers finished with five shutouts this season. We finished with two last year, back-to-back -back games, in fact. So it'll be interesting as an Oilers fan this year to see how much more the goaltending will uh, stop and obviously how many more shutouts that will result in. I think five shutouts isn't much to ask, right? You split it three and two between both our goalies and away you go. I still expect Stuart Skinner to be the exact same, if not better goaltender than last year. Obviously, I'm expecting Jack Campbell to improve as well. So that's where I think there is quite a room for shutouts to happen. You know, the Oilers were close a couple of times and then blew it. But uh, we'll see what happens this season round. So hot take number three, friends. As you can see, it's an early Saturday morning video. I am hurting this morning. Uh, Evan Bouchard is a point-per-game player this year. Yes, that is my uh, hot take number three. I thought I'd leave the best for last. It again ties back to the power play. I think Evan Bouchard on the league's top power play given what he was capable of in the playoffs, given what the Oilers were capable of all season. It just makes sense. Nothing has changed. In fact, only things have gotten really better for the Oilers. Guys are that much older. Guys are showing up to camp two weeks early. Everything's kind of coming together here for the Oilers. So Evan Bouchard, I expect him to be point per game. Obviously, if he doesn't play all 82, that would not be 82 games or 82 points. Sorry, that would be maybe 70, 75. How many ever games he plays, that's how many points I expect him to have this season based on hot take number three. Friends, I'm Tyson. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to get out of the video without sneezing. My apologies, but this is Dolany TV. Thank you so much for being aboard. Again, a reminder, if you are kind of new to the channel, you haven't been here many times, I recommend you go check out some of the content that we've already posted here this uh, past week as we get geared up for the NHL season. I am up on out here.